Hello everyone and happy Transfer Tuesday! Today is quite an exciting Transfer Tuesday. If you have no clue what Transfer Tuesday is, then check out my description box. I go into a little bit more detail there, but if you have any further questions, feel free to comment those down below. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna talk about my student loan debt as well as my Roth IRA, and we're gonna start with my student loans. So I do have $36,000 of total student loan debt. They have been in forbearance and at 0% interest since March, 2020. So instead of paying those down, I have been saving for them in my high yield savings accounts. That forbearance isn't expected to end until after mid 2023. So I'm continuing to save for them and I'm expecting to be debt free this year or at least have enough money to, to pay off all of my debt and then we'll see what happens with the whole student loan debt cancellation or just returning back to making payments. But the plan is once I do have to start making payments, I will make a lump sum payment with all that I have saved. Last Transfer Tuesday, I reached $24,952.60 saved for my student loan debt. And since then, I have made one transfer. On Sunday, I received a Venmo notification that Rachel Hickey sent me $50. And she said, happy January. Uh, Rachel Hickey has supported me every month for quite some time on this channel. She has always sent me my $50, which always goes toward my student loan debt savings. Anything that I get from direct support from anyone goes to my student loan debt. Rachel Hickey does have her own YouTube channel here, so definitely check her out. She also is working toward paying down her debt and documents her finances. So if you're interested, go check out her YouTube channel. But I did go ahead and make that $50 transfer. I did it the same day, but because of the weekend and the holiday, that didn't actually go through until today. So that is an additional 50. For today's Transfer Tuesday and all of my past recent ones, I have not been prioritizing my student loan debt because I really want to focus on maxing out my 2022 Roth IRA. So I'm not going to save any more for my student loans, but that will change later on in January. I will be able to make some more transfers to my student loans once I finish maxing out my 2022 Roth IRA, which we'll talk about in just a moment. So in summary, for my student loans, I have saved $50 over the last week. Thank you so much, Rachel. I greatly appreciate you because you also now got my total student loan savings over $25,000. I'm now at $25,002.06. Just a reminder that I do have two separate savings accounts now because I opened one in order to get a bonus. So I have $20,052.60 with City Accelerate Savings, and then I have $4,950 with my Marcus by Goldman Sachs account. So combined, that's $25,002.60. So over that 25K mark, which was my goal for January, I wanted to get over 25K, but I know I'm gonna be able to, to go a little bit beyond this, which is exciting. And this is a new milestone because now I have less than $11,000 of total debt left, which is mind blowing. If we were to subtract the amount I have saved from my $36,000 of total student loan debt, I would be left with $10,997.40 of total debt. We are getting so, so close. And I honestly am really seeing and feeling the light at the end of the tunnel for my whole debt-free journey. And I'm so excited about it. I keep saying this, but the next few months, this is just gonna roll really, really quickly. I know that, and I'm excited to see how soon I'll be able to, to save up all of this and be done with my student loans once and for all. Actually, first, before we talk about my Roth IRA is my 401k because I got paid on Friday the 13th. Anytime I get paid, I also contribute to my 401k, 6% of my income, so that was $157.50 from myself, and then my company matches that same amount, 6%. So a total of 315 contributed to my traditional 401k, which is always very exciting. But let's talk about the big thing here, my Roth IRA, and I'm going to make a transfer for that right now. As of last Transfer Tuesday, I only have $1,000 left to max it out. And this is gonna be the first time I'm ever maxing out my Roth IRA. So it's a very big milestone and just means a lot to me. So today I'm going to go ahead and transfer $500 right now. So I'm gonna do that and I'll put up the screenshot of that. You'll see that it's coming from two separate checking accounts. I do have multiple checking accounts. I take advantages of bonuses. Somebody did make a good recommendation of a video to talk about all of my 
checking accounts and savings accounts and what I have them for and why I opened them. That's a great idea. I will do that. I know it's confusing, but for me, it really works because that's just, you know, I, I really like finances and I'm fine with spending a little bit of extra time to make extra cash and move things around. I do have direct deposit going to three separate checking accounts and one gets 250, another gets 250. My main checking account gets the rest of my check. So I always have a little bit over 250 in those two that I, that I mentioned first. As I mentioned, I did get paid on Friday, so this is where that money is coming from. So I went ahead and just purchased $500 worth of VTSAX for my Roth IRA. That's my whole Roth IRA is VTSAX. The balance of my Roth IRA is now at $13,684.95. I noticed that VTSAX went up a little bit over the last week or so, so this is why it has jumped quite a bit, plus I just put in $500. I have now funded 91% for 2022, and that means I've done 5,500 and I have 500 left to completely max it out for 2022, which I'll definitely be able to do by next Transfer Tuesday and then we can focus on my student loan debt again. That is it for my transfers today. I'm very happy to have gotten over that 25K milestone for my student loan debt savings and then only 500 left for my Roth IRA and I'll be done with that, so. Please comment down below what you did to move your money in the right direction for today's Transfer Tuesday. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.